It's you. All right. I, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. How's everybody doing? Tonight we're working on a uh, NB Miata. Uh, it's a supercharged motor. It's uh, our buddy Dustin's car. He was driving it uh, after the gap when we went to the gap this year and he kind of looked down at the pulley and he noticed a little bit of wobble. This is kind of a common Miata thing. Basically the, the crank key snapped the uh, timing gear off. It's not gonna wanna come off without some heat more than likely. You've done one of these before, haven't you? Same same kind of issue. Nope. This you is haven't. All, this is all new. But this is this is a Miata thing. I mean, and a lot of Miata people know that like, yep. this is a, a gotten, common problem, yeah. especially like with the one sixes. You know, they had the short nose crank and everything. The one eights don't have a short nose crank, but the crank snout could have been so much bigger. It's just not super beefy. And when you have a supercharger, it's putting more load on all the pulleys, especially the crank pulley. We're gonna pull the timing belt off, pull the water pump off. We're gonna see if we can get that pulley out. These coil packs have three bolts. Don't put the one on the bottom on them. It's a pain in the butt and it serves no purpose. It's one of those things where in a factory, like they over-engineer it. You'll thank me later. Now we gotta pull the water pump pulley off. Mm -hmm. I should pull it right off. Yep, there she is. The only problem is, is once we get the slot, we're gonna have to bring it, the car back down. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard me, but yeah, it's too much that. light in that spot. This is it all. So what are we doing now? Right now, we are putting a bolt in here in the hopes that it bottoms out before it runs out of threads. And then what we're gonna do is use that to turn the crank itself so we can put the broken keyway toward the top so we can go try to drill it out without messing up the crank. This is plan B. You gonna try to drill right up here? Yeah, right above it. Mm -hmm. Cause all we need is a big enough hole and then we can scrape it out the rest of the way. So we're on to plan B here. Uh, plan A, heating up the pulley and prying against it. Didn't work. Cause it's stuck on there pretty good. So now we're uh, Attempting to drill through it right above where the woodruff key is, and uh, hopefully that gives it enough like movement to pop off there. Crank fully wobbled, so the woodruff key snapped, and then it kind of this is going to be a Kentucky term here wallowed it out. Wallard, yeah, wallard. buddy. This is wallard, waller, and uh. It slipped a little bit and it's wedged in there and it's wedged in there so tight. It's like welded onto the end of the crank right now. The cranks hurt a little bit. I've seen worse. You can just stick some JB Weld or, you know, they call it a Loctite fix back in the day, but JB Weld, you basically like align everything. And then once you do the Loctite fix or JB Weld fix, like this isn't ever coming off. How much tape, man? Oh, no, 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 you already made it. Oh, it's moving. Wiggle. Oh wow. Yeah. A little wiggle wiggle with it. What if I start screaming? Mom! Mother! The meatloaf! Mother! Save me! You wanna get your adrenaline pumped up? Give me a little bitty flathead. Like probably one of the smaller ones you got. This is the part of the keyway that was broke. Just fished that out with a pick. Yeah. Finesse, right? Yeah, yeah. Was I going brute force or something? You were. Brute force will just result in rebuilding the engine anyway, because you'll have to put new bearings in it. All right, well, let's see if she comes out now. Look at that, slides right off now. Oh, wow. You can actually see where the key stopped and where it kind of broke off. Nice. Um, it looks kind of wallered. Let's go get some JB. Let's take the IS and go get JB. Road trip. Road trip. Shotgun. I hate Walmart, but uh, when it's the only place open and you got to fix your shit box, this is where you go. All right, 
Dustin, we figured out what you needed. All right, what's up? Now we're gonna fix this keyway with some JB. Then we're gonna hit it with heat gun so it quick dries and then we'll put the timing belt on there. And JB's a little bit thick right now. So we JB welded the uh, Woodruff key. And uh, in order to expedite the process, we got this industrial strength master heat gun. She do work, she puts in work. It's like 33 degrees outside right now. But not on that crank pull. No, on that crank pull, it's, it's like 200 degrees. Hey, you think we ought to be worried about you melting the front seal? No. How warm does this motor get? I mean, like, think about an engine running. Yes, this is how you do this without the flying Miata cam tool. Okay. Which, as you'll notice, is annoying. Now the Miata's weird because the I needs to align on the exhaust and the E needs to align on the intake, which makes no sense. You're also going to want the marker here to line up with this little arrow. So once you've got it lined up, what you want to do is grab the little spring here. You can see this. This is the tensioner. And at the top here, that's where the spring goes. And then over here, you'll see a little boss hanging out right here like that. It's got a little lip on it. What you do not want to do is get your pry bar out and pry on it and tighten it and make it feel like a very tight, nice looking belt. Stick it onto the water pump, get you some needle nose vice grips, grab on as far as you can over to make sure it's out of the way. And then when it's on there, you'll pull it over. Watch how easy it is. Oh, baby. If it's gonna... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's true. All right. PP works just as well as brake parts cleaner for anyone that's wondering. No, 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 no. This is probably if some... you just... Because hot PP works really well as a cleaning agent. I don't know if you all know that. I don't know that I agree with that. Have you ever tried it? I can't say I've tried it. No, oh, then you don't really know. <laughs> all right. So this is where... Yeah. Uh, Classic off one tooth problem. So we get to do it one more time. You can see the common problem. This is also why you rotate. So you can look to make sure that it's correct. Yeah, perfectly lined up. Every time, first time. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. All right, you'll see here, we've got the timing belt on. You see the teeth are both aligned. The marks are aligned. And down here, you'll see that the pulley is also aligned with the little arrow. Once you've reached this point and you've rotated it two or three times to make sure that all three points line up again, then you can call it good. We're throwing RTV on the corners where the cam towers are. Then back here where the uh, cam angle sensor would have been. Basically any like 90 degree edge a little dab of RTV and uh, that stops the gasket from leaking. And be careful not to smear the RTV everywhere. Uh, and doink, wow, look at that. Doink, doink, it's on. Doink, it's on. Click. Yeah. Made a little click for me. Done. That's it. <laughs>